Welcome sa Cipline.com. This video, tutuloy natin yung ating series on calculus. No? And uh, dito sa video na to ay uh, babalikan natin yung definition ng continuity. No? Um, particular, in particular, the continuity of a function at a number. No? So, babalikan natin yan and uh, para mas lalo pa natin maintindihan. Gusto kong i-connect itong uh, uh, mga conditions doon sa graph na pinakita natin doon sa 1.49 no sa calculus 1.49 Now um so kung tignan yung graph no uh, tignan niyo yung graph tapos tignan niyo kung alin ba doon sa mga definition yung napapayulate no uh, For example sa graph 1 no ano ba yung unang condition Basahin muna natin yung definition no So, the function f is said to be continuous at the number c if and only if the three of the conditions are satisfied. 1. f of c exists. Number 2. The limit of f of x as x approaches c exists. And number 3. The limit of f of x equals... Uh, the limit of f of x as x approaches c equals f of c. Hindi ko na ito papaliwanag kasi napaliwanag ko na ito na, na in details doon sa sa previous video no so dito ang gagawin natin is uh, to see which of uh, these functions no are continuous based on the definition so hindi lang tayo ngayon titingin na yung angat-angat lang ng ballpen dito i-base na natin dun sa definition at titingnan natin kung alin yung condition na napa-violate niya no okay so let's have our first uh, first uh, graph graph 1 so, ano ba yung unang condition? F of C exists, no? Ibig sabihin ng F of C exists, ano nga ulit ibig sabihin nun? Meron tayong point, no? Pag meron tayong C at meron tayong F of C, no? Ito yung F of C natin. Ito yung point na C natin, tapos F of C. Yun yung Y coordinate, di ba? Ito yung F of C natin. Okay, sorry. F of... This point here is actually f of c. So f of c yung y nyan. At ang, ang uh, coordinates ng, ng point na yan ay x, y, or x, f, oh sorry, sorry, not x, but c, c, f of c. Yung, f, yung c mo yun yung x coordinate mo, tsaka yung f of c mo yun yung y coordinate. So nag exist siya. Ibig sabihin, pag ibig sabihin ng f of c exists, meron siyang point doon sa x equals c. x equals c is a vertical line x equals c. Meron tayong point. So, yung, yung, sa graph 1, nasa satisfy yung, ano, yung uh, first condition. So, yung condition 1, graph 1, f of c exists na, na sa satisfy siya. So, lagay natin yung y. Pag nasa satisfy siya, lalagay natin yung y. No? Number, number 2, no? Ano yung condition 2? Condition 2 is that the limit of f of x exists as x approaches c. Ano nga ulit ibig sabihin na? No? Ibig sabihin, pag nag-approach c yung left-hand limit, if the limit exists, limit of f of x, as x approaches c exists, ibig sabihin, this is condition 2, di ba? Ibig sabihin, that the left-hand limit as x approaches c is equal to the right hand limit, no? So here, pag pumunta ka dito, ano ang left hand limit mo? x equals. Ito, di ba? Dito siya nag-approach yung y value. Pag pumunta ka naman dito, palapit ka na palapit dito, nandito rin siya. So it exists, no? So the condition 2, condition 2 also satisfies. Or is, uh, the condition, the second condition is also satisfied. Okay? So, condition 2, yes din tayo. So, dapat puro yes yan para siya maging continuous. No? So, isa na lang. No? Ano sinasabi? Sa so, number 3, we have, dito na rin natin, lagay, limit of f of x as x approaches c is equal to f of c. Meaning, yung limit, yung limit nila at saka yung point. 
dapat nandun siyang point dun sa may limit ng dalawa. So, the limit, the limit ng dalawa ay f of c. And the limit of f of x as x approaches c is equal to f of c. So, nasasatisfy ito kasi meron, nandito rin siya yung f of c natin. Okay? So, meaning, no? meaning, condition 3 is satisfied. So, pwede siguro natin maglagay ng tanong dito. Is it continuous? Continuous. Oh, so, ang pinakasagot natin dito ay yes. No? Yes. Okay? Kasi yung tatlo na yun no? na satisfied. What about number, graph number 2, no? So, condition 1 na, condition natin, f of c exists. Okay. Condition 1, nag-exist ba? Ano nga ibig sabihin na itong uh, kulay white na ano to, na bilog? Ibig sabihin wala siyang point dyan. So, f of c does not exist. So, no na kaagad yun. No na kaagad dito. And in fact, no na kaagad, ma ma masasagot na natin kaagad to, no Kasi, Kahit may isa man tayo dito na hindi na sa satisfy, automatic, hindi na siya continuous. But let's try the two conditions. What about the second, the limit of f of x exists as x approaches c. So pagpunta tayo dito, ang, ang in-approach na number ay ito. This particular number. Habang yung x mo papunta dito, yung y mo, y value mo. Pag galing ka naman sa kaliwa, the left hand limit, ito rin yung in-approach mo. No? So, the limit of f of x as x approaches c exists. No? So, yes. Nasatisfy naman niya yung condition 2. And what about condition 3? Well, the, is the limit of f of x as x approaches c equals f of c? No. no? Bakit no? Kasi wala na nga tayong f of c does not exist na nga dun sa 1. So, no na siya. Hindi siya nasasatisfy. No. No. Okay. What about graph 3? Graph 3. Okay. F of C exists? Yes. Meron tayo. Ito yun. Sa line na x equals C, meron tayong point, which is here. So, number 1, satisfied. This is yes. What about number 2? So, sa number 2, they approach the same point no, in dalawang graph. So, ito yung kanilang uh, ina-approach na limit, itong y-coordinate nitong empty, empty uh, point na to, no? So, katulad nito, the limit also exists. No? Remember, uh, again and again, sinasabi ko, wala tayong concern dito sa point na to. Ang kailangan lang natin is yung the, the points near that point. Yung point na blank ko. Ibig sabihin, wala, wala siyang point dyan. Yung place na yan. No? So, the limit exists. So, yes. What about condition 3? Condition 3, equal ba sila ng f of x tsaka f of c? The limit of f of x as x approaches c. The limit of f of x as x approaches c is ito yon Itong part na to. Pero ang f of c mo, ito. So, hindi sila equal. No? So, condition 3, no, no siya. Siyempre. So, no rin to. Okay? Graph 4, bilisan natin. Baka masyado nung mahaba yung ating video. So, sa graph 4, f of c exists? Yes. Meron tayong point dito. Ito yon tong part na to. This is f of c. Yung y coordinate niya. So, that's yes. Number two. Uh, the limit of f of x as x approaches c exists. So, dapat sabi natin, left hand limit, tsaka for this to exist, dapat left hand, tsaka right hand limit niya. Pareho. Pero ang left hand limit nitong isa, pamunta dito, Ito ang left-hand limit niya. Yung number dito. Tapos ang right-hand limit niya, ito. As uh, x approaches c, 
from the right, ito yung kanyang limit. As x approaches c from the left, ito yung kanyang limit. So, magkaiba silang dalawa. So, the limit does not exist. Yung number 2, hindi yan nasasatisfy. Number 3, no na siya, di ba? Kasi hindi na nag-exist na yung limit, so hindi na sila mag-equal. So, no na to, no? This is no. Graph 5. Let's see graph 5. Okay. So, nag-exist ba yung f of c? Wala tayong point sa x equals c, no? Sa linyang to, no? Yung sa vertical line passing through c. So, does not exist. No. Of course, pag no, no na yan. Automatic. Pag merong isang, hindi na sa satisfy. Pero tignan na rin natin yung conditions 2 and 3. Condition 2, we have nag exist ba yung limit nila as x approaches c. So, as x approaches c, papunta siya ng positive infinity as x approaches c from the left. Tapos, as x approaches c from the right, papunta siya ng negative infinity. So, the limit does not exist. So, ang second condition is no. Ang third condition, syempre wala na nga sila parehong, parehong hindi nag-exist. So, normal lang na hindi sila mag-equal, di ba? Yun yung sa, sa third condition. Diba? Number six, we have, uh, meron ba tayong f of c? Yes, meron tayong point, itong point na to. So the first condition is satisfied, yes. What about condition two? Condition 2, does the limit exist? No, kasi yung isa pamuntang positive infinity, yung isa pamuntang negative infinity as they uh, approach a particular point or at x equals c. So meaning, uh, the limit does not exist. This is no. And of course, kung wala kang limit dito, hindi mo sila mag equate dito. So, dito wala tayong limit. Pero meron tayong f of c here. So, they will not be equal kasi yung isa wala namang value. No? So, magiging no. Meaning, no. So, dito sa mga examples natin, isa lang yung continuous function. No? Yung graph 1 lang. Where's graph 1? Okay? So, I hope, no? With that, uh, with these examples, I... Medyo naliwanagan kayo lalo doon sa ibig sabihin ng definition ng no? uh, continuity. No? Okay, so sa susunod ay titingin na tayo ng mga uh, functions na specific. No? So, tingnan natin yung 2x plus 1 as uh, x approaches 1 for example. So, continuous po siya o hindi. So, yung, yung mga ganun. Ito very general ito. No? Pinakita natin yung graphical interpretation ng definition. Okay, so gusto nyo uh, kung gusto nyo gumaling sa math, no, punta kayo sa itnine.com. Nandiyan yung ating uh, mga listahan from algebra to calculus, no. In fact, ano, from arithmetic kasi meron tayong mga fractions din. So, meron tayong mga very elementary topics. And of course, you know, unti unti natin yung mga videos natin na kumpletuhin. So, puntahan nyo lang and then uh, of course, kung nasa YouTube kayo, pwede kayong mag-subscribe sa ating channel, Sipnayan. Okay, so maraming salamat. See you in the next tutorial.